Welcome plungers. Thanks for pulling up and tapping in. This here, if you've seen the last episode, well, 11 of you have, so I strongly advise you to go check it out. I started off in this location, but the location I toured in that episode is also great. But I started off in this location, it was unfinished at the time, and now it's finished. So we start off in the greenhouse, and this glowing thing down here is the double A plant commander. I'll get into that in another time. And as you can see, the pots are all color coordinated. So verde berry goes in green and cyan berry goes in cyan and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It just makes specific crops that I need to harvest that much easier to find. Over here, we have the gardening station, the refrigerator, vault, and compost bin, all AA, automated arc is the name of the mod. We'll descend these stairs right here, down to the workshop. But first, secret door with the automated arc workstation. Uh, truth be told, pretty much everything in here is automated arc with the exception of one smithy that I need for um, customizations and skins and stuff. But other than that, just about everything in here is automated arc. Um, but I do have a new storage system for the dinos, the Dino Depot. And uh, I'm trying this out, got the idea from Syntac and Jim Bob and the guys, so I'm giving it a shot. As you may already know from the title and the thumbnail, this is a Stickman build, and it didn't start out like that. But once I built the main hall, the grand hall, which is what's the head, and I looked down at it, I was like, yeah, I might as well make limbs. So this is his left leg, which is like a patio, safari-ish. And this island is relatively safe, especially on this side. And we have the foot here, which gives us an exit and we have a deck a beautiful deck and it's sunrise on the center and we get to look out at this beautiful sunrise and the redwoods. This game is beautiful as we catch a glimpse of the scale of this compound. But I'll just say this. I, I really, really love this game. And I love nothing more than to share it with you guys. So I often take a lot of time to make these builds and I make music also for the most part like henceforth i'm probably going to be using exclusively my own music so like it or hate it it's all mine because i love this game and i and i thoroughly enjoy playing it and i, I wouldn't be able to just play it and not share it with somebody so here you go And here we have the entrance hall and you'll see my gratuitous use of greenhouse accessories throughout and I wanted to have the doors closed and reveal each room as I went but I didn't so that's neither here nor there. Here we have the ant hill room which you put bug repellent in it and you put a creature next to it. The ants come out and if the creature's on aggressive, it kills the bugs and collects the chitin. And uh, down here we have his right leg. We get into his foot and we have an exit here and always stay armed. And we have another exit over here leading to the water. 
you can literally walk your tame right off into the ocean. And uh, we're very close to the swamp and you can see the center back there. So close, in fact, I built a bridge and uh, we'll get to that in a little while also. And you can see also more of the scale of the property. This is the main hall or the upper torso area leading to the two arms and we'll get to those. Right here we have a utility cabinet hut with a trough generator and a turret genie. And here we have the grand hall with a head. And I could seriously see myself having a few Brontos in here. We do some Brontosaurus breeding or what have you in here. This stick man has a flat top that leads right off into shallower ocean water and it flanks the swamp. And we make our way back through here. And we see we have a back door in his neck. And over this way, we have a behemoth gate in his rib cage. And his right arm is partially tunnel, partially bridge. Going directly into the heart of the swamp. right up into the heart of it, right up into it, if you dare. I'm often awestruck by the sheer scope and beauty of this game sometimes. Sometimes I genuinely sit and I just look at the scenery, look at the sunrise, look at the sunset. Like, this game is gorgeous. It's viscerally impactful and I love it. This is my favorite game, to the exclusion of most others. I still play Forza regularly, but for my own enjoyment. And the game isn't dynamic enough and hasn't changed enough for me to feel like I'll bring any value to creating content with it anymore. So it's mostly going to be this game. As we bring ourselves across the chest, So the behemoth gate and his other rib cage. And then to his left arm, which is my piece de resistance. It's going to be my underwater 
taming pen. Um, most of it is going to be enclosed and I'm just going to have all my tames in here, all my water tames. If I have to make it a little bit bigger, I may, but I don't think it's really necessary. I think I can fit most things in there. So, yeah. So, just gonna jump on this griffin and let the music play out the aerial view for us. So, enjoy the rest, guys. Thanks for tapping in. Peace. are a champ for watching this far so here's a little easter egg i named my raptor Jalen. since he is brown and orange and in light of the fact that the Knicks have made Jalen Brunson their new team captain well earned decided to give a nod to that accolade and just give this Raptor that name so uh, let's get it <laughs> 